Hey guys, Zach here with Top Game Guides. Today we are in Kelpthar Forest, and I'm going to show you a really great spot for you skinners out there. So as you can see, we're kind of here in the middle of the zone. We're just southeast of the uh, initial zone-in area, and once we get underwater, you will see why. Uh, so basically, there will be a sunken ship here uh, with a bunch of brine scale serpents, as well as a named uh, serpent, which is for a quest. Um, the reason we're here, though, is because these serpents have a instant respawn. That means whenever we kill one, uh, another respawns around the boat. This means you'll have non-stop killing, um, as well as the fact that this quest serpent spawns about every 3 to 12 seconds. So you can essentially just stay here by the sail, and the named one will continue respawning and run right into you. Um, this is uh, one of the better places to farm as a skinner because, like I said, the instant respawn means you'll never be without mobs to kill in a, a small area. It's true that this area does drop scraps, which uh, brings a little bit more hassle. Either you have to sell the scraps on their own, or you have to find a leather worker to change them into savage leather for you. Um, but all in all, because of how fast we're killing mobs, it's still a really great spot. By the end of this six minute session, I will have farmed, uh, I think, 11 pieces of savage leather and then almost three stacks of savage leather scraps, which will turn into another um, about 12 or so pieces of savage leather, uh, bringing my total to uh, over a stack of savage leather in six minutes. Uh, savage leather still goes for about 120 gold per stack on my server, and with the addition of the um, loaded bladders, which will contain volatile, um, different types of volatiles, as well as you'll get serpent eyes and um, serpent scales, uh, which also sell for quite a bit. All in all, this spot should net you about uh, two, 200 to 250 gold per 6 minutes, um, or of course 2,000 to 2,500 gold per hour. Uh, which isn't too shabby. Uh, the only downside of this spot is that you have to occasionally surface or else you'll drown uh, that or find some water breathing potions, but uh, it's it's a really nice spot to farm straight savage leather. Uh, you'll get a pretty good return. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my channel. Thanks.